Greetings, beings of goodness and greatness. Welcome back to Amnesia Dark Descent. And, uh, when we left off... Seems a bit laggy. But when we left off, we, uh, tried opening the door with this. And it didn't work. And, uh, we're now contemplating going down back to the storage room again. But first, before we go down to the storage room, I just wanted to head back up to the study for a sec. Because, uh... I left something in here, I believe. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Okay. Let's just quickly pop around this way. And out here. Does this open? Yes, it does. I think. There we go. That's what we left behind. So I just wanted to grab that, because I left it there last episode, and, ooh. No. And I forgot that too. Jeez, okay. So I missed a few things. If I missed anything else, uh, let me know, I'm going to try, <laughs> try my best to collect stuff, but, um, yeah, I think that's all we needed in here. He panted heavily. Trying his best to keep himself from screaming, the medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass and grabbed all the sedatives. Why has this appeared here again? Has the monster been around? Okay, let's go down here and see if there's something in that other area that I didn't look in. The strange letter frightened him but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Right. Back into this lovely place. Was there something over here? Yes, there was. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! <laughs> Why did I decide to come down here? It's a terrible idea. The rubble from a cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Okay. Yeah. There. Oh, well, I tried. Too bad. Can't get in. Kind of broken there. Okay. None of these can be used on the door. Whoops. Didn't mean to take that. Use the drill bit on here. Oh! That worked! That worked! That actually worked! And then we fill this chemistry pot. That worked too! Partially filled pot. What's it filled with? One of the two ingredients for creating the explosive mixture. What's the other explosive mixture? Oh, you can pick up the saw. Nice. One of the two ingredients for creating an explosive mixture. What What other ingredient do I need? Stop wedging, woman. I'm trying to concentrate on important stuff. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's, there's two of these things. So, use this on here. Oh my lord! Ha <laughs> ha! Don't mind me. So I'm blowing up the door or blowing up down here? Oop! Got to 
to set it off. Hello. Probably a good reason that was all blocked off, to be honest. Don't like this. This is creepy. Uh, the heck? Lovely. Mmm. Fresh meat. Do you want some fresh meat, sir? Not really. I'm on a no unfresh meat diet. Oh, loaf of bread as well. These guys have been out of business for a while. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Maybe not. He's not breaking the door down or anything. Right. I'm kind of just terrified of that room now. Oh, what the heck. Let's just say hello to him. Oh, now I'm out of oil. Okay, even better reason to say hello. Eight barrels. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you have to carry on. I can't. That tosses in the way. And now I'm fully out of oil. Because I wasted it. Perfectly normal. Great, thanks for letting me be able to touch the fire. You know that I'm a curious twat. Hello. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Where is he? Running in the rain. Oi, it's pricky again. Hello. <laughs> He's wandering around out there. I'm just chilling in his crib. Say. Uh huh. Uh. Oh, la 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 la.
but I was on the ground. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. Go away, Johnny. I'm a busy man and I like jumping in the springtime. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking through the etchings and counted nine different kings from all over. Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. I have to say, they've got a brilliant sound system here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. You were not there before, buddy. <laughs> That's my little pool, and you've really mucked it up. That is the largest... Never mind. Okay, uh... <laughs> Let's uh, run up to the guest room then, because I obviously missed something in there. Hey, meat, what's up? Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man the other day would cast us a terrible shadow. I've already read that. That chair moved! When I walked in here. It's cold. It's so cold. Nah, looking for a secret key. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Where? What are you on about? Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Okay, so I've gotten the key, but it's like an extra... I've already picked it up, but it's like a non-object item. I don't know. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Well... Hope I find some oil, because I wasted it all in the other place. What? Okay, so I don't have the key. Not up here? On the frame? Behind this picture? Aha! Aha! Behind the picture! There we go. Radio, now we're making some progress. We've got a key. Now I can go in this deadly damn machine room. Right, I can open the door. Look at that. Ha! Ha! Key! I don't want to go in here, really. If it's bright and cheerful, there's like bunny rabbits. He flipped through the book and I think I've already read that. There better be oil, because I'm in dire need of it. In the boxes. Ah. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. 
Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hmm. Throw board. Can't remove that. Nope. Can't do anything with that. Ha! Turn anything. Nope. Can't turn. In dire need of oil. Oh, I also need to pick that up um, at some point. Oh, these are for the things, I guess. Note that there are only two spare rods in the storage for the machine. Uh-huh. Oh. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. I see. Interesting. Now give me oil. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, 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 four phase. Flow cycle. Flow cycle. Trinity is for triangle. And this goes in there. <laughs> yeah. Stand in the sun for a bit. Sun. Lantern light. And we'll grab this. Is that one to pick up as well? Huh. Oh well. It's a damn good weapon if I ever need it. Why did I waste my oil? There we go. Just according to plan. There's another one here. I'm going insane here. Yes, thank you. Wow. Okay. This is coal, I assume. Okay, okay. So. Let's get some more gears then. I saw one up the top here. Whoop. Yeah, the game's a bit choppy today. I'm not entirely sure why. And then, does this do something? Needs more work before it will run. I assume I need to put stuff in there then. Um. Like this. Let's pick up every random piece that's just laying around. Stop making noises. Stop hissing and humming. Full of coal. Hey, a couple of pieces. Yeah. Can't turn that. Burning? Yes, it is. Okay, now can we do this? Hey, carpenter's drill. That goes along down here to this thing. 
and that thing goes into there. Oh, what's it say here? 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. So the monster? Is that what's following him? What do I need to do? Oh. Okay. Find a way to start the machine that powers the elevator. How do I access all of my notes? Do 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 William missing machine quick. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up the pressure before chaining it chaining it blah, blah, into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure. Up eight, down eight. Up eight, down eight. Oh Roman numerals. Damn it. Um Okay. That's a five, I think. I V five. That, 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 and that. Was that the right answer? No, and that's five there. Okay, hang on. Right, okay. So it's one, two, three, and then that's four. Okay, so four, and then that, and that, and this is five, six, seven, eight, what? That, but that, that's more than eight going down. Whatever, okay, well let's go down here, we'll flick the thing, and then we'll end it here. Ugh. He's on my screen. That's creepy. Okay. And blam. We are in business. Yaha. So now we'll actually be able to chill out in our elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I want it. Basically I should be saying, oh thanks so much for watching. That's the end of amnesia entirely. It's actually quite comforting being near the machinery because it's nice and noisy. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode of Intelligic. I'll see you all in the next one. Even though it's getting for <laughs> seven. Uh, um, yeah, you might have noticed there's been a lot of uh, amnesia episodes going up this week. That's because I plan on playing uh, a machine for pigs when it comes out, and so I want to have played the first game. But. I, I think my heart might give out before then. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. See you later.